At WPI, we really focus on functional limitation, and so if a student is impacted in the classroom, whether it's because of a diagnosable disability or because English isn't their first language, we really try to create open access to materials that don't require them to have a special permission or a retrofit. The ECHO platform provides closed captioning, which is being used by students in the deaf or reduced hearing population, as well as uh, low vision. We have students who are taking advantage of live streaming to be able to uh, have the content that is sent to the projector live during their class to their personal device. Increasingly, students with disabilities who previously would have been shut out of the educational system are now showing up in my classroom. I have no real training or ability to specifically help those students with their learning, but this gives them the tool to help themselves. This week, with all the snow that came down, I was kind of trapped inside. I was able to go back through old class captures and basically go through the lectures again as though I was in class just remembering everything that we had gone through once before. Really any student that's using that lecture capture in class, whether they're registered with an Office of Disability Services or they learn in a different way, this is a great way to provide access to all students in the classroom. Students with ADD, ADHD, um, you know, who may be impacted in the classroom and have a, a harder time focusing can go back and review their notes if they realize that their attention was impacted for a certain amount of time and it creates a much more autonomous system for them. They know how to use the technology to their best advantage. I don't have to know that, I just make it accessible to them.